I gotta go defrost that salmon. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting our Pidgeot set. Choice Bandit Pidgeot. Can we do it? Uh, our opponent is bringing Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Alakazam, Arcanine, Scizor, and Flygon. So a very Gary Oak type of team. I think that was unintentional, but it is very Gary Oak, um, Champion Blue um, type of team that we have going on here. Um, yeah, hopefully we're able to do something good. We are going to choose the Zerif lead simply because, you know, Absol is actually a pretty good offensive lead. Knock out the Skarmories and Tangroves, knock off some items, can do a lot of stuff. So we're going to go with the Absol lead. Before we begin, of course, if you're enjoying these Wi-Fi battles, feel free to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it, shall we? Um, this one I have no notes, so it might be a little scatterbrained. Uh, just being completely honest with y'all. So, Aerodactyl versus Zerif. So we are going to, in fact, click the knockoff first. We are Life Orb. Sometimes I do wish we were Sash. But this Aerodactyl is 100% for sure focused Sash. We are going to knock off and do a lot of damage to it. See, there's the Sash right there. Uh, so yeah, we are revealing our Life Orb. Um, of course, we could run Magic Coat, but again, I like the more offensive spreads. We are going to just click Sucker Punch because we have to. And we get one knockout right there, right out of the gate, just like that. So Aerodactyl goes down again. Absol is not meant to stay in the battle for a long time. It's just meant to be a, be a, what do you call it, a disruptor of sorts, an anti-lead. And hopefully uh, we're able to do more damage. I mean, you know, you already seen how much damage it did to the Aerodactyl. We're going to see how much damage it will do against this Arcanine right here. Again, even at minus one, we're going to see how much damage we do. We're going to just stay in. Oh, we're actually going to switch out. We should switch on to Tomioka now, I believe. Scratch that. Just scratch all of that. I hope we leave that in. Um, nope, we're going to go down to our Flare Blitz. Yeah, even though it was very obvious to switch into the Vaporeon. Um, but yeah, down goes there. That's fine. Uh, we're going to see that recoil and we're going to expose the item. And it is in fact left over. So it is probably a more defensive Arcanine than most. Uh, it's clearly not Bandit or Life Orb or whatnot. Now we're going to Tomioka. Huh? Now we're going to do it? Sometimes we're, we're such a stupid idiot. I swear. We play this game, sometimes we're a stupid idiot. The Vaporeon switch was right there. We should have just done it. Well, now we can, so we have Water Ice coverage, which is again, almost phenomenal coverage. Um, but we're gonna click Scald. We gotta start spreading some status and burns into Tentacruel, the perfect wall uh, against the Vaporeon here. So Scald, we're gonna do a little chunk of damage. Can we get the burn? No burn. So we see the Black Sludge recovery though, so that's really good. Um, for him at least, we, we review that we're lefties, of course, why would we not be lefties? Right, you know who would be perfect for this? Absol. You know who we don't have? We don't have Absol. Oh my goodness, who would have thought that? Ah yes, we go into Morgan. In case you didn't know, Morgan is a type of rock, by the way. That's what they're all named after, so like, you can see a Citrine. Um, I believe, yeah, you can see Citrine. Azelf is Lazuli. Go back to Sword and Shield Wi-Fi for that. And then uh, Morgan for Mesprit. So there's the origins of their nicknames for you. Um, clearly we can click, click Psychic, right? But we know there's a Scissor in the back. Do we go for General Coverage? Or do we go for the Guaranteed Super Effective? Or do we set up Rocks? Because Rocks are important too. We have Rocks on our side of the field. It'll be quite imperative to get Rocks on their side of the field and force a Defog. Or a Rapid Spin in some cases. So he's obviously going to switch out to a Scizor. Right, that's that's hundred percent guaranteed. Because now what do we click? So we're gonna click the stealth rock. So now we're gonna force either a defog or we're gonna force him to U-turn. Um in our case, in any case, we're gonna go into our wheezing. We're gonna go into bronchitis because we can take any hit from the scissor with wheezing. So we're gonna see oh there's a rock damage. There's the defog, so the rocks are cleared, however we still have our rock setter in the Mesprit in the back. Well he doesn't have, his Aerodactyl is not there, right? Aerodactyl's fainted. So we are just going to click Will-O-Wisp here. 
um, because we know, well actually we're just going to click flamethrower aren't we? Because uh, we know, I, I'm pretty sure it's common knowledge that, yeah, scissor, yeah, that makes perfect sense. You turn out, get the, some chip damage into whatever you want to send out. Flamethrower, we're just going to do a little chunk of damage to anything. I was debating the Willow, because, you know, again, spreading burn status is really good. But, you know, we just click flamethrower, just in case he stayed in and actually went for the whatever move. We do know that this Arcanine is Intimidate, we are kind of fearless to click Flamethrower, we don't have to be scared. But also, Arcanine is more of a physical attacker, so... I don't know, we'll see what this Arcanine does, it's definitely not banded. So we'll see what this does, I'm thinking it's more defensive, it has to be more defensive. But now we switch straight out into the Tomioka again. I lied, sometimes I'm just going to shut up now, I don't even know what the hell's happening in this battle. Uh, we are going to absorb the Willow, and we're going to get off a Sludge Bomb instead. Again, I'm not doing this with notes, so I don't actually know what's going to happen next. It's been a long time since I've seen this one. Sludge Bomb doing a lot of damage, and we snagged the Poison, so that's really good for us. So that Leftovers is practically negated, we're actually going to be doing more damage to it. More damage than it is recovering, so it's going to lose 6% HP each turn. So if it goes for Flare Blitz, I mean, doesn't matter. I believe we're just going to click Sludge Bomb again, because we have no reason not to. Oh, we're actually going to click will o -Wiz, predicting a switch. How interesting. Well, there's the recoil. I mean, that was such a read. I don't know why we did that. But that was such a read. That was a very bad read. I think Scissor coming in, huh? I mean... I mean, at this point, though, Arcanine is not going to want to take anything. Well, Ar what is Arcanine going to do? That says E-Speed, right? I mean, I don't know. That was clearly a bad call. But now we switch out to Tomioka, because we're now predicting he's going to either have Morning Sun or he's going to Flare Blitz just to knock himself out. So why take extra damage when we can take the least amount of damage as we can? You know, Poison's going to knock it out. See, look at that. Nothing. And it's at enough where Poison will knock it out. So Arcanine finally goes down and we're freely able to click Will-O-Wisp. Uh, what else can we click? Will-O-Wisp and Flamethrowers, we can just easily click them. And Arcanine goes down. So yeah, well, that Arcanine did a lot of work on our team, spe specifically on the Weezing. But we'll see what he sends out next. Out comes the Alakazam. So Alakazam, very scary. So Aerodactyl and Arcanine are down. Um, yeah, our next option is either stay in. Sorry, I hit my mic. We either stay in or we go into Magna Zone. I think we click Scald here to break the Sash. But we do see an offset energy ball that does a lot of damage to us. Uh, judging by that damage, it could actually be Magic Guard. Uh, Magic Guard Life Orb. But again, I guess we'll never be able to tell, huh? Because we never even broke it down to Sash. But Skull did do a lot of damage. It could even be Specs too. But I mean, on the off chance it isn't. We're just going to go into Dindin Din right now. And we do have the Quick Attack to knock it out. Here comes Dindin Din making a debut. And Psy Shock. So it is probably Life Orb. I believe that is Life Orb damage. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. We're Bandit Quick, we're bandit quick Attack. We're banned a quick attack. Surely we can knock it out, right? No, we can't. Of course not. Damn it, Pidgeot. Damn it. Why aren't you strong enough, Pidgeot? Oh well. Down goes the bird. Um, clearly now we're in a little bit of a pickle. Um, I think Magnetar is now our best option, unless it has Focus Blast. But I don't think it'll have Focus Blast. Because they normally have Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball. I believe we're going to click... Boat switch, hear that, or Thunderbolt, in case he switches to Scizor. Here's a stay in, here comes that Shadow Ball, I believe this is Life Orb, just look at the damage it's going to do. That's a quarter, so I believe that is Magic Guard. We Boat switch out, get the knockout on the Alakazam, which is fine, but now we gave our opponent the switch initiative, which is not good. This is what I would want to do instead. Actually, we send out Tomioka instead. Again, Water is a very good defensive type. Uh, we do get our lefties. So that's always good. It's always good and tasty. Uh, but again, we still have the Scizor to deal with. Arcanine Aerodactyl is gone. 
Alakazam is gone. So Tenacruel, Flygon, that's the last one. So Flygon still a big threat. We do have Ice Beam. I'm predicting a Dragon Dance, that's why I never switched out. But there's that U-turn. So a big chunk of damage on me. He goes back and into the... I want to say Tenacruel, because Tenacruel is the perfect wall. Tenacruel, yep. There it is. There's Tenacruel. Gonna do big damage with our Ice Beam. Does nothing. Does absolutely nothing. That was a crit, did nothing. Uh, I don't know what we'll go for now. Considering Tenacruel on speeds, I think this is where we let Tomioka go down. We actually switch out and go into Magnetar. That's a very interesting play. I wonder why. Oh, I think to resist the Poison Stab. But I definitely think he's not going to click a Water move. That will be quite crazy. There's the Sludge Bomb. So now we can actually... Well, we can't really click Thunderbolt for free, can we? Uh, we can click Try Attack. Because we, uh, we know that Thunderbolt can knock out Scizor and... Um, Scizor and Tenacruel. But Flygon is there. So we are going to just click the Specs Try Attack. Hopefully do some type of damage onto the Flygon. The Flygon's at full health, so we gotta start chipping at this thing too. We're gonna do big damage onto it. If it was analytic, I think that would have knocked out. But I think now we're gonna go into Vaporeon. I think this is where we choose to knock out the Vaporeon here. Even if he locks himself into Outrage, that's good for us. So we're just using this as a chance to scout. And again, here's the Earthquake we see, so that's going to knock out Vaporeon. Vaporeon did really well in this in this game. And we don't see any Life Orb or anything. So, it could be Yachi. Um, it could also be Sash, but I don't think it's Sash. It could be Bandit even in some way. So we're going to Bronchitis just to find out. We are going to click Will-O-Wisp. Um, this move will tell us what it's what it is. It could even be Scarf Flygon for all I know. So he withdraws, which tells me he's choiced in some fashion. Out comes Tenacruel. And we're gonna click will o -Wisp so we finally get rid of its, uh, its Black Sludge recovery status. Uh, I am tempted to click Pain Split, not gonna lie. But I think that will actually be doing really good for us. Tenacruel does not have access to recover, so... Yeah, we should just click Pain Split to be honest. Here it is, we're gonna click Pain Split. Here comes that Scald, he's gonna do a lot of damage to Weezing. And then we're gonna get all of our health back because of that Pain Split. So it averages amount, averages the HP amount. So as you can see, that's how much the average HP is. But we're both burned, so we're gonna take just neutral recovery. <laughs> Meaning we're not getting any HP back. So now with this, I believe we can go switch out into Magnetar again. Or heck, even Morgan. But I would think Magnetar. So we switch out, and I believe we're sending out Morgan next. To take whatever move comes our way. I do not agree with this decision, but it is fine. We can get our Psychic off. Oh yeah, that burn is definitely really good. Uh, we can get, we can get our psychic off and just start chipping down at more at more things. We are expert belt, so Thunderbolt is going to do a lot of damage to the Tenacruel, even though it's not stab. Um, Thunderbolt. I mean, we know that we have the Flygon in the back, so this is a way to draw the Scizor. And we're going to click T-Bolt. T-Bolt still does good coverage damage. We see it's lefty, so this is probably the Impish Scizor. It's another reason why we keep um, Weezing healthy. As healthy as we can. So we click Thunderbolt, we do on speed, so this is in fact defensive Scizor. Do a little chunk of chip, and we give ourselves the switch initiative, which I like. Um, simply because uh, if he goes, in, he goes into anything, we send out... Um, if he goes into anything... If he sends out Flygon, basically, we go into Weezing. If he goes into Tentacruel, we send out Magnazone, and we just click Try Attack. Uh, simply because, yeah, Try Attack's gonna do a lot of damage to everything. I know we're a little, I know we're a little bit behind too now in terms of Pokemon left, 
But I think this was a necessary move. Clock comes flag on. And we have to send out Weezing here. So we know that it's a physically oriented Flygon. It could even be Lumberry for all I know. Um, but I believe the move is to click the Will-O-Wisp to expose the item. Actually clicking Sludge Bomb to snag the poison. There's the U-turn. So probably not the best idea. We probably should have just clicked Will-O-Wisp. Actually, we probably should have doubled out, huh? Because what does Flygon do to Weezing? Absolutely nothing. So we probably should have doubled out. Out comes Tentacruel. We, again, we probably should have just doubled out. That's a big misplay on our part. We have three minutes remaining, but I don't know if we have enough firepower. Um, switch. Oh, I see. We're trying to get as much HP back as we can. There's that Scald. Bring us to red. Again, we're doing a lot of damage with Pain Split right now. Uh, now would be a good time to switch out into Magnetar and click Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon. Try Attack. Because that will knock out anything on his team but the Scizor. But even with Scizor, he can't really touch me because he's defensive. Scald will do a big chunk of damage to us. Again, this Tender Crew goes down if we click Volt Switch, but I am quite scared to click Volt Switch because of Flygon in the back, so I am opt to just click Try Attack, I think. Oh, we actually just clicked Thunderbolt. Okay, we just full sent it. Makes sense. Probably should I click Volt Switch instead. Unfortunate burn there. Of course, he gets the burn now. We knock out Tender Crew, so Tender Crew finally goes down. And we made that one mistake, and I think it's going to cost us this game. Now comes Fly. I think Flygon cleans up. Granted, we do have Weezing. We do have Weezing. We are choice. So we can't really click anything. We are going to let uh, Magnezone go down here. And so we have two minutes to kind of bring this back. Hopefully we can. I don't know. Or one, two minutes. We have one minute. Uh, Weezing is defensive. Hopefully we can do it. I'm not even gonna shit anymore. I think we lose. I think we go 0-1 this first game. This seems to be a theme. We always start with 0-1. Huh? We always start with 0-1. Oh well. I guess that just be how it be sometimes. Here, Dragon Claw is gonna knock us out. Well, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this long ass battle. Uh, sorry about that misplay. We definitely could have won this one. That's my fault. But yeah, stay tuned for number two. It'll be a fun one. Guaranteed. Until then, I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day. Bye.